What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. There's a little piece of hair here. For breakfast I had, um, well I guess for brunch I had leftover chicken parmesan. Um, and for lunch I had some Mexican pizzas. Is that what I'm describing? Yeah, okay, I had a Mexican pizza for lunch. Um, and uh, for dinner, I'm not too sure what we're going to be having. Something's happening with my right contact. I don't know what, but whenever I blink, it just feels off. Like it feels like it's doing something weird and there's something wrong with it, but I've taken it out of my eye and I've cleaned it and I put it back in my eye. Um, and it still feels weird. I don't know if there's an eyelash in my eye or what, but it's kind of terrible. So before I leave for therapy today, which is, you know, I, I have therapy for the first time in like a little under a month again today. Um, before I have therapy today, I'm gonna get my old contacts. I'm gonna put them in my eye. Um, uh, I woke up at 5.30 this morning and I walked on the treadmill for three miles. Um, and then uh, I did a little bit of schoolwork, but I'm gonna have to do quite a bit when I get home. Um, oh, and Kendrick Lamar released a new album today, just randomly, uh, which is just really crazy. Um, I uh, checked YouTube this morning and I was like, oh, uh, Kendrick Lamar released a new song. I wonder if a new album's coming out. Little did I know, the new album had already come out, and that was just one of the songs on the album. Um, so I'm gonna probably listen to that on my way home from therapy. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I've been a fan of Kendrick Lamar for a while. Uh, I, I've probably since about maybe 2021. I, I was a, enough of a fan of him to, to like listen to Mr. Morale when it came out. Um, but I remember back in like ninth grade, um, on the way to, like, this jazz festival, I had listened to, like, uh, uh, I had listened to, like, To Pimp a Butterfly and, like, stuff like that, and, you know, he makes good music, and I like his, um, that song on the, uh, Black Panther soundtrack with Future, where he's like, la dee la -dee da you know, that's a good song, um, uh, you know, I like Kendrick Lamar, he's a cool guy, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna listen to that, and I'm excited for that, um, and nothing else is really going on, um, so, so, so right now, um, my primary web browser is LibreWolf. Um, here it is. So I just have LibreWolf and I also have some custom CSS so then I can have like sort of a one bar setup and I have a whole bunch of extensions, uh, but just enough to where, you know, I need them. Extensions are actually, like if you ever experience a slow web browser, there's a very high chance that it's because you have way too many extensions. Um, and so the meta is to keep the amount of extensions you have onto your web browser just for real, like as low as possible. Like you want, really don't want to, you want to have as little extensions as possible. Um, and I do believe that uBlock Origin has the same functionality as NoScript, but I'm just super used to NoScript and I'm just super used to it. Um, and I don't, uh, honestly, I just kind of just use uBlock as a web browser, so I don't really practice what I preach, but for real, have like as few extensions as you can. Um, and the thing is, is with LibreWolf, um, it's kind of a slow burn of a web browser, if that makes sense. Like I have a uh, NoScript, for example, which uh, by default blocks all JavaScript on all websites. Uh, and so something you have to do is when you go to a new website, you kind of have to manually see what websites are running the JavaScript that will make the website run correctly. So like on chase.com, for example, there's like 12 different websites and a lot of them are analytics websites, right? And that's why you have NoScript for, for privacy reasons, but you have like 12 different websites trying to run JavaScript on your computer when you connect to like chase.com. Um, um, there are only really four websites, like Chase's CDN website and like a couple other things that make the site work properly. Um, and so it's kind of like a, if you want to use LibreWolf, at least with no script, you kind of have to like spend some time on it. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, my sort of just works browser has been ungoogled Chromium. Uh, so like, say I'm doing something in LibreWolf, you know, say, say I'm doing something kind of high stakes, like say I'm filling out like a doctor patient form or something. Um, and it seems like the form is working properly, uh, but who knows, like maybe I'm going to press save and the JavaScript isn't working properly. And then I just like resets all of my stuff, you know? So, so if I really want a browser, browser that hundred percent works, I just have ungoogled Chromium with uh, uBlock origin on it. Um, and that's kind of my just works browser. If I don't want to like, uh, risk doing something weird on LibreWolf. Um, uh, but you know, something I realized yesterday, um, is, you know, I also use ungoogled Chromium on like my computer at work. Um, and uh, and on my Windows VM, and I realized that it doesn't update. Like it doesn't automatically update. And I was so used to like the way that things work on Linux. Like I, I have ungoogled Chromium through the AUR, and you know I run the peru update command all the time. So 
it just automatically updates the binary, but like on Windows, like it's just the same version that I had when I installed it for in the first place. And that's just crazy to me. Um, so I'm probably gonna figure out like some sort of automatic update script or something, which makes it a little more difficult. But uh, you know, I can just put it on my website and then I can just pull it from there or I can put it on a GitHub repo and pull it from there or something whenever I have a Windows machine with on Google to Chromium. Yeah. But then it's a little less easy, you know? And so I might as well, I don't know. I might just get straight default Libre Wolf, but that's a little weird, I don't know. Um, but you know, aside from that, nothing else is really going on. Uh, today I have the thumbnail that um, I've, been ta I've been thinking about for the past couple weeks. Um, I've sort of been hyping it up in my previous thumbnails, but uh, you know, despite that, it's a little boring. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I saw a couple cool images. I was like, oh, I should have it in a thumbnail that looks like this. And I sort of imagined it in my head and that's what this thumbnail is. Um, again, first link in the description is a link to all of my thumbnails in 4K quality. Um, and so if you ever see a thumbnail that you think is interesting, uh, there's probably a lot more detail than you think there is in the tiny little screen. And so, you know, to fully appreciate it in almost like a studio setting, um, the, the best way to immediately view like my newest thumbnail is the link in the description. Um, but yeah, nothing else is really going on and yeah, see you do.